Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today I have a small little project that um, is related to the fact that I'm going to be recording a short film on a submarine uh, 14 days from now and uh, down in that submarine we need some artificial light that is out of the way so you don't really see it or you, know, you shouldn't be able to see it and it doesn't have to give out a lot of light we just need to light up um, some small areas uh, along the submarine like long corridors and something so we need some light down that corridor that looks as if it has just always been there and the submarine is from 1965 it has a lot of uh, really old incandescent light bulbs but uh, we don't really want to put up a lot of high power lights so I'm working on a little project here on the table that I want to involve you in okay that one has nothing to do with it um, I have these small LED lights uh, and I have six of them I bought these in a package with six LED lights and a remote control I was thinking of using these as uh, film lights so I have put um, double-sided tape on this one and I'm actually gonna remove that because uh, that is just a hassle. But we're gonna be doing something similar now that it's going down in a submarine. And the submarine is pretty much iron everywhere. So I wanna mount a magnet in the light instead so that they can be fastened to everything. Um, I was really thinking of taking the light apart replacing the three AA batteries that are inside it. I have um, I have drained the batteries on all these lights. It's so easy to leave them on. So all of the batteries are dead, which is really irritating. So my initial idea was to put in lithium ion cells like this one, and they would fit really well in here. That wouldn't really be a problem. I could fit a good powerful lithium ion battery in there but the film has to be done and this would take me well, at least all day to fit in batteries plus this is the only one that I have that I don't have to take apart from laptop batteries so I would have to take laptop batteries apart and find the good cells and remove the plastic inside of here and well so I have kind of I'm dumping that idea just it's gonna be too much work this light package was well twelve dollars I remember um, I replaced the batteries in this one and we could just see the remote and it turns on and this is really neat inside the submarine because then we can record and turn on all the lights and when it's done just turn them off again there is also a manual switch you can press it and it turns on and off but I want to be able to mount them in the submarine so I was thinking of just mounting a magnet you can kind of see how this is built this um, this top part which contains all the circuitry um, it's, it's really neat it just goes down to the battery so all this bottom part is just battery and I think I can fit a magnet down here on the bottom of this and I need a really strong one so I know that I have some of these magnets from laptops and that is able to fit down there very nicely uh, it's it's absolutely as if it's made for this project but I don't think I have enough I probably have to take some more hot drives apart to get the magnets out but I just happens to have a lot of hard drives so that's not a problem but I think we'll just super glue this in and and have a test I'm curious if it's strong enough to um, to hold this lamp up even if there is two layers of plastic because um, the back of the lamp is another piece of plastic that you put on top here uh, to lock the batteries inside so this would be the best thing to have it like this and just be able, be able to clamp it on somewhere but I don't know if that's too much distance for the magnet so we will um, we'll test that out while the glue gun over here is heating up I might as well uh, replace the batteries in the, in the lamp that we're playing with here 
uh, be careful not to don't involve this very very strong magnet with something that I don't want it to they can actually be pretty hard to take off again if you put them in the wrong place so let's put some power in this make sure that this lamp works before we mess it up so this is a five LEDs and each of them are 0 0.06 watts so 5 times 6 that's 0 0.3 watts it's not a hell of a lot I must admit I hope it will be enough to get some light it's under a watt mm. so let's just loosely put this together there is the tiniest little piece of plastic thing sticking out down here from the from the molding process so I'm just gonna take a soldering iron and kind of scrape that out of the way uh, I, okay it's, it's actually not that easy so it might not be a good idea at all but well, we did try didn't we and I just want to test it out before I put the magnet in and yes it does turn on so that's good and it and it does also give out a fair amount of light so let's glue in the magnet and let's put that in I wonder if there is a strong and a weak side to this ah, feels it feels about the same we'll just put it in this way and I'm getting it as close to the bottom as possible then we'll just give it a bit of hot glue and don't heat the magnets too much because if magnets are heated too much they will lose their strength so cool so I'll put this back together um, it has this cap to make it look nice um, it would probably be a good idea for me to paint this because everything is black in the submarine and I don't want a white light sticking out so um, yeah, do I really want all that work probably I'll go paint this Okay, that doesn't look that bad. I didn't want to do the back side because I still want to... Well, if I do that, it will kind of use the, the paint as, as glue and, and just glue the back panel together with the battery department. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be great. Okay, I uh, painted these, but um, well, I couldn't really wait for the paint to dry. So I took another one uh, down here because that was just the one that has gotten furthest with the drying. And I crushed another hot drive magnet and uh, hot glued it down here. Uh, this one didn't fit as well, so I had to, uh, with a piece of big pliers, break it in pieces. They are very fragile, so just stuffed all the pieces down there and hot glued on top of that. So we're gonna put this back together. Um, I found that the glass comes off, which is neat. Uh, just polish that a little bit. So let's. See, it goes on this way. There is a little tap there. Cool. And then this ring goes on top. And there is a little tap there that corresponds with a little tap there. So we'll put that together. That looks fine. So. I'll screw that in place. Screw that. Oh, I see there is room for going around with a bit of touch up paint. Uh, protect this piece of transparent plastic and just give it another scoop of uh, black paint around. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is quite perfect, but there is nothing perfect in that submarine. So um, well, let's uh, stuff in some batteries here. <laughs> they are 
kind of installed <laughs> right away, but let's just stuff them in there. Put the back plate on, which has not been painted. There. And I have a piece of metal pipe up here, so there. And you can turn that on. That's rather neat. Oh, the lamp is in the way, so it doesn't really show how much light it gives. Let's uh, light up the room right in here. Okay, the camera is really evil because it makes this room look really, really lighty. So it doesn't really help that much, but you can kind of still see that it, it does do something. That little LED light there. Um, so I could probably turn off some more light to, to get a better stunt here. Okay, now the camera is not able to adjust as much. So now it gives this kind of light. That's kind of cool. And it's just by the flick of the remote. Not bad. Okay, I did a video way back where I took the magnets out of a hard drive like this. Um, but I'm in need of more magnets, so I'll uh, take apart this, well, probably well working 18.2 gigabyte compact uh, hard drive. And uh, well, I'll just show how to get the magnets. Okay, I've removed all the screws on the front, and I think I have removed all the screws on the back as well. Here comes off the PCB. Not needing that, I'm not gonna go into data recovery. Then we have the back of the hard drive and there is some filth here and that reveals a couple of new screws that we can uh, remove. They have been removed and when you go over with these with your finger, you can kind of see that there is a tox screw beneath there, so that can be removed as well. Makes the job a bit easier. Um, not certain that we need to remove all of this, but well, let's just see what's inside, right? So let's see if the cover comes off by now. So we probably need some persuasion. There, cool. Cover comes off. Not needed. There is the magnet. The rest we're not gonna be dealing with, so I'm just gonna see if we can take this out. And it seems that it might be possible. Yeah. Yeah. Not needed. Here we have two magnets uh, and some metal. So this should be possible to take this apart. Uh, the magnets are in here. This metal is a special kind of metal that is not very easily magnetized. Even though there is some really strong magnets right on the other side, it's not really strongly magnetized. But if you go in between, they're really strong. So, I'm gonna pull this apart. Oops. And the magnets come together like this. And this is where I have to be careful because this will pinch my fingers really badly. So, good plier here. And something else. Like this one. And we have those two apart, like that. Put this somewhere where it does not get anything. And then to get this off, uh, the magnet is glued onto this piece of metal uh, right in here. And if I start to ply it off, try to dig a screwdriver in here, it will break off into multiple pieces. But if I take this and bend, oh, and bend the metal, it will be a lot easier. Luckily, this metal that is uh, not very easily magnetized um, is rather soft. 
softer than I would have liked. There, it kind of comes off. And now it's it's way easier to get it off like that. Uh, it seems that it wasn't glued that well on, so that's a good thing. One magnet down, one to go. Here is the other magnet, and this is very often what uh, you will see, that where it was glued the best, it will um, peel off this mm, coating that the magnet has. This coating is just to keep it all together. The magnet is really the stuff inside. Uh, and that is very fragile, but when they coat it together in a nice package like this, it's a lot stronger until it breaks. Okay, we are ready for a little test here. I have mounted the lights in here. Only have batteries for two of them. So I'm gonna go in here and it's gonna be very dark on the video, I expect. Can you see me? You can see my hand here. But when I turn on the lights, I'm in here. And, oh, well, it's, it's not a lot of light, but it's enough to, um, to show some of the details in here. I think we'll try and zoom in and try that again. Okay. I'm in here again, it's totally darkness, and now it's, there is a little light. Oh, my head is not in here. So, well, well, it's a kind of success. You might get a better result if I actually get the light near uh, like that. Cool. But, um, well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Give this video a like, please. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.